Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to start up, taxi, take off and land the DCS BF109K4. We'll start by pressing in all the circuit breakers on the electrical panel. I'll leave the radiator controls open because the fuel, uh, the temperatures usually stay within limits on the ground. I'll turn the prop pitch to automatic and you can see on the gauge prop pitch gauge the it indicates 1230 position that's correct and I'll resume by turning on both fuel pumps and both magnetos open the starter cover ask the ground crew to start turning the flywheel and we'll prime the engine As you can see on this gauge, it shows fuel pressure on the left and oil pressure on the right. While I frame the engine, the fuel pressure rises. This is perfect to start the engine. Flywheel is almost finished. And we'll pull the starter. I'll use a simple burst of power to start taxiing and carefully tap the brakes to keep the aircraft straight. Um, uh, you can use the tailwheel lock on long straights, but I usually don't bother with it. It'll make things a little bit easier, but you can manage it by just tapping the wheel brakes. Don't stand on the wheel brakes as you will spin, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward comparable to the FW190 but it's a little bit more finicky because of the narrow carriage. Before entering the runway, I'll close the canopy and set the nose wheel trim to plus one because the FBF 109 is pretty tail heavy on takeoff, so this will make things a little bit easier. Once I'm lined up on the runway, I will lock the tail wheel and uncage the artificial horizon. I'll then Pull the stick all the way back and to the right and increase power to about 1.4 ATA and 2500 RPM. Once I build up some speed, I'll push the stick forward and keep the aircraft straight with sufficient right rudder. I'll try to avoid using left rudder because you can spin off of control pretty easily. Gear up. Now 
now that we're in the air, I'll slowly reduce power up, uh, first to 1.3 ATA and later on to 1.2 ATA. I will then fly to the small airfield near Kutaisi, do an overhead break and land. reducing to Turn onto the airfield for the initial approach. I will fly over the airfield at about 500 kph indicated, then reduce throttle to idle and do a left hand turn in the opposite direction. At 350 kph I will lower the undercarriage and at 250 kph I will lower the flaps. Gear down. And we have two green. Lowering the flaps. If you lose too much speed during the final turn, you can add a little bit of power, but you should keep that to a minimum. The speed over the threshold should be 180 kph and touch down around 150, 160 just before stalling out. And then pull the stick all the way back so the tail wheel stays on the ground and correct with rudder as needed and carefully apply brakes. I was coming in a little bit too fast here, but um, overall it was a good landing. I will now turn the aircraft around and stop the engine. This concludes my tutorial on how to start up, 
taxi takeoff and land the DCS 109K4. Thank you for watching.